We're now going to measure the ankle pressure and we are then going to use a normal width of the manchette here because that is the reference values are all measured with this type of, of equipment. We can start with the dorsalis pedis artery uh, and this is a very superficial artery and it's therefore very easy that you compress the artery with the probe. To avoid that, you have a lot of gel placed uh, above the artery and you let the probe bathe in that gel without any contact with the skin. You keep the probe as a pen, you stabilize your hand with your little finger, put it in place, and now if the patient then moves his foot, you will not lose your position of the probe. Then you pump up. Uh, to uh, above systolic pressure, release the pressure rather quickly. The reason being that thereby you reduce the time and uh, the, the risk of losing position for this probe. After you have measured the pressure at this point, you can uh, of course go over to the uh, tibial posterior artery, but here again you have to put a small pressure on your probe, still holding it as a pen and support with your hand. In the case that the measurements that you get on these points do not fit to the clinical picture overall, you can always go and also measure the pressure over the uh, fibular artery, which is then ventral to the lateral malleole. And not uh, seldom, this is the main artery in elderly people.